So, you're the new kid everyone is talking about. What's your name? He doesn't talk, Elf King. He thinks he's hot shit or something. You're playing for the wrong side, dude. What did Wizard Fatass tell you? That we broke the rules and took the stick last night? He's lying. Cartman is the one you should be fighting against. He's hiding the stick, which is cheating, and acting all betrayed and sad to get you to recruit more people for him. We tracked a Twitter raven who says you are currently trying to recruit the Goths for the wizard. Go recruit them, but bring them to us. Then we can ransack Carmen's stupid kingdom and get the stick back once and for all. I'm trusting you to do what's right. And kid, if you betray us, we'll tell everyone you're a butthole. I am sending our best ranger to help guide you. The bard is also at your disposal now. Well, we finally ran into Stan and Kyle. Kyle's the king of the elves. Stan's his little right-hand man here. So I had to skip over a little bit of a part because the audio got all messed up when I was recording for some reason, and it was all off, and it didn't really even record. But basically what happened was is we had the crashing with the spaceship, and then the government tried to cover it up by saying that they're bringing the biggest Taco Bell ever, which is pretty funny. And then Cartman just wanted us to recruit uh, some factions for the war against the elves, the gothic kids. It was really boring anyways. It's not like you're missing much. We just had to go and get goth clothing and everything like that, which was pretty boring. Um, so now we're going to go with Stan, and we're going to go and fight Shelly. And I also realized we could add those strap-ons. I didn't really think as to what to use those for, but that's why my sword is uh, flaming right now. I got the little fire strap on. Nothing can prepare you for this battle. If I die, tell the guys I fought bravely. Down on that side is where my parents sleep, and across from that is the cave of the She-Ogre. Give me back my iPhone, demon! You little turd! I've brought help! Let's see you try and take us both! Ah! Your days are numbered, She-Ogre! We're battling Shelly the She-Ogre. I'm not sure if she's a boss, I'm assuming, but let's see if the mug works. 5,000 HP? Holy moly. Mind if I update my status while we're waiting here? Dang, she's immune. Alright, let's see what Stan can do. We haven't used him yet. We got a sword. No aerial attack. Discus of Might. Whirlwind Slash. What was that? Uh, let's go back. What, marked for death. Let's see what this does. Attack! Yeah! Oh, sweet. We get to go again. These attacks are barely doing any damage. Ah! Shelly hit him with a Zidane headbutt. Let's hit her with a special ability. Back, eh, let's check out this execute. It, I don't know, it doesn't do that much damage I think though. My mom did a pretty sweet job with my costume. Slash. Mash X, then press. Alright, seems simple. What the hell just happened? I didn't even see a shine. A shiny thing didn't happen. Cherry. Oh god, she just threw a tampon. That just wrecked me. Alright, we gotta friggin' cure myself here. She's got a bloody tampon in my face. I skipped ahead in the fight because Shelly's taking forever to kill. She's super strong. And our attacks really aren't doing that much damage. Basically the same stuff, just repetitive attacks. Oh no you don't! Uh. Man, I suck at blocking. I don't know how long I'm gonna rock with Stan as a partner because... I don't know, he only has a few attacks and his special abilities to me aren't as good as Butters because Butters can go into Professor Chaos which can do a lot of damage and um, it does have that one shield perk which is pretty comes in pretty handy when you're going against strong opponents like Shelly or bosses I guess. Shelly's almost dead though. One or two more hits and she'll be done. She's bleeding out. She's on fire. Man, I need to step my blocking game up because she's doing mad damage. Shelly's yakking over here. Yeah, she's about done. Yeah! 
Take my iPhone again, and I shall bring justice swifter yet. Get out of my room, turd! I bow to you, Ogre Slayer. I'm glad to call you friend. All right, we're heading back to the Goths over by the school, so now we can finally recruit them. Oh, Joy, it's Butthole the Barbarian from the Dungeons of Dumbass. You gotta admit, he looks better. Yeah, he's almost a Goth. Being goth isn't just how you dress, it's a frame of mind. It's time for you to prove that you go against society's rules. Yeah! There's a big PTA meeting happening right now at the community center. You need to walk right into the middle of that meeting and take this sign to their table. Yeah, that will prove your individuality. Go on, beat it, and don't come back until you have a picture of that sign taped to the PTA table. The goths are just... they're relentless. We've had to do so many frickin' things to recruit these boners. It isn't right, I tell you! Out of nowhere, this huge Taco Bell is being built, and now our children are missing precious school time! Parents, we've been assured by the builders that they're working to fix whatever problems they've encountered, and school should be able to resume soon. Resume soon? Who do they think they are? They think we're gonna see a, a Taco Bell as being more important than our kids' educations? What if it's not really a Taco Bell we're dealing with? Thanks for coming, new kid. Everyone, this is the kid whose family just moved to town. We've become very close friends. His name is... What's your name? Well, anyway, this child and I witnessed something last night, and I'd like you to hear his story. Go ahead, kid. Tell them, you know, about all the... Go ahead, tell them, tell them that stuff. This is a waste of everyone's time. If the PTA isn't going to do something about Taco Bell taking over, then the rest of us parents will! Come on! Yeah, let's go! Come on! Look, I know how you're feeling, okay? But this isn't going to solve anything. We've got to get inside that Taco Bell and find out what's really going on. Help me with that and I'll help you with this. I saw you on the ship. You have pretty good control over your farts. Meet me in the bathroom. It's time for you to learn some real power. I can tell you have potential, but you are undisciplined. Let me show you what I mean. Come at me. Try and fart on me. Come on! Kia! You call that farting on someone? You missed by a mile. Try again! Hi, Cha! See that? Your fart's over there somewhere. Didn't come close. So, what do you do when people can block your farts? You must learn to control your farts to move and release at a specific time and place. I'm going to teach you a fart called the Sneaky Squeaker. It will become your greatest ally. Don't believe me? Try and block my attack. <laughs> oh, this is so dumb. You see that? I distracted you. Distracting your opponents is key to battle. Look, let me show you again. Pay special attention to the viscosity. Okay, you try. Make your fart detonate behind me. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, Mr. Mackey. Now it's your turn. Use Sneaky Squeaker to distract Mr. Mackey over to the corner there. Wow, he's still going, huh? Do it again. Hey, did you guys hear that? Sounded like a chipmunk. 
king. Oh, very, very good. <laughs> oh my God, Randy. Sneak inside that Taco Bell. Find out what they're up to and report back here. And no matter what happens, never fart on anyone's balls. You got that? All right. Now go.